Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. Next ID is a provider of healthcare devices as well as payment credential management and authentication platform services. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies or GBT. GBT is a powerful cryptocurrency centralized decentralized exchange which will include a broad range of services and benefits from cryptocurrency and blockchain markets development while avoiding complications and risks arising from cryptocurrency ownership, transfer, and exchange. You can download the Genesis Exchange and Wallet app at Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Learn more at www.mygenesis.io. As we open this week, the crypto market is showing stability with not much fluctuation in market capitalization over the long weekend. Total market cap is sitting at about $179 billion U.S. at press time, according to data from CoinMarketCap. Bitcoin is holding its recent support level with a trading price of $5,325 U.S. after having dipped a bit in the past couple of days. The top two altcoins, Ether and XRP, are trading for $171.32 respectively, with most of the top 100 listed coins by market cap in the green so far today. Four-time Olympic gold medal winning tennis superstar Serena Williams announced on an Instagram post recently that in 2014 she launched a VC investment firm called Serena Ventures. Among the investments listed in the post was crypto exchange giant Coinbase. The official website reads, quote, Serena Ventures focuses on early-stage companies and giving them the opportunity to be heard. As we grow, we hope to mentor young founders and take burgeoning entrepreneurs to the next level. Serena Ventures extends relationships, encourages collaboration among portfolio companies, and expands partnership opportunities across my vast network. Similar to many of the companies we have invested in, we are just getting started and are hoping to make a difference. End quote. Japanese crypto exchange Zyf will be up and running tomorrow after having been hacked for $60 million last year and subsequently suspending operations. According to the official announcement, the exchange was bought from previous owner Tech Bureau by Fisco for about $44 million US. The announcement also indicates that users affected by the hack have now been refunded. JP Morgan Chase is expanding its blockchain technology features for its Interbank Information Network, or IIN, platform, according to a report from Cointelegraph. Used by more than 220 banks throughout the world, IIN will be able to instantly verify whether a payment is heading to a valid bank account, according to JPM's head of global clearing, John Hunter. This particular feature will be available in the fall of 2019. And according to a report from Coindesk, shopping on Amazon can now be done on Bitcoin's Lightning Network using a browser extension from crypto payment processor startup Moon. Amazon still receives fiat currency from transactions, however, with a conversion taking place on the back end. Moon CEO Ken Kruger told Coindesk, quote, There's a lot of opportunities to help solve some of those usability problems and getting people onto the Lightning Network, increasing adoption in that way. We're going to engage with other folks in the Lightning community to see what people are doing, what they're working on, and if there are any significant gaps. We'd love to step in and help whenever possible. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, Next ID is a PR news and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com. 